Welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm going to do a series of instructional videos on the uh, Roland FR1X accordion. And uh, I was talking to my wife uh, about the idea. And we had started just talking about a lot of different things. And, and I happened to mention the, the, the batteries. And I was telling her how important they were and she said, that's an emergency video. You should have that video first thing before anything else so people understand something about the batteries. So this is going to be <clears throat> what I call Batteries 101 uh, for the Roland FR1X. Okay, uh, start off, um, you can use, when you're using batteries, the Roland takes eight batteries. Okay. And they're eight pen light batteries or double A batteries. But they have to be a special type. Okay. Now, first, let's talk about the battery compartment. Okay. On the chest plate, um, you, you, you remove the cover and you can put eight batteries in this. It is so important you have them going the correct way okay you know I'm, I'm gonna have the uh, the obviously the picture of the battery compartment and, it, and if you look there you see how they're how they're going okay the one depending on which way you're looking at it positive are all going one way positive going the other way now if you put those in incorrectly you're going to have a problem, okay? And and what's going to happen is you're not going to get the voltage. You're actually going to damage the batteries and or possibly uh, the accordion itself. So if you put them in incorrectly, so, you know, you stagger them, positive, negative, positive, negative, or you put them all positive, you're going to have a problem. It's not wired that way. You could actually cause a fire. So please make sure that your batteries are in correctly. Also, they warn against using a, a normal pen light battery, uh, you know, like a Duracell. Um, the, the reason is, okay, rechargeable batteries are one 0.2 volts versus 1.5 volts. Okay. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it is. Okay, you're going to end up with, you know, more voltage than you want. You're going to end up with like, what is that, 12 volts? When in reality, the equipment was designed to run with 9 volts. So you will damage your electronics. Okay. So I can't overemphasize. Do not put regular AA batteries in your accordion or you will damage it. Okay. So what's important? You need to have the correct size. They have to be double A's. Don't, don't try to put triple A's in. Okay. Size D batteries won't fit. But, you know, just don't. Double A batteries. Rechargeable. Okay. You really want the nickel metal hydride batteries. That's what you want. Okay. They're the ones... Um, if you're old enough, you remember the old nickel cadmium batteries where, yeah, they were rechargeable, they were great, but if the charge ran down and you charged them, great. If the charge was halfway and you charged them, its new dead point was halfway. They had a, quote, memory. You don't want that. Nickel metal hydride is what you want. 
extremely important. You must have the correct milliamp. Okay, these batteries come out with all different types. I'm going to give uh, an example here um, in a moment of, of differences, but they must have the correct milliamp. The instruction manual recommends 2,000 milliamp batteries. Okay, with that, the FR1X will play new condition batteries approximately five hours using the speaker. Okay, it's great. If you are listening with headphones, your speakers automatically cut off, and according to the manual, it will last eight hours. You know, I really haven't had a had a problem. Um, you know, you have good batteries. They, they will last, and, and they last a long time um, before you have to replace the battery. But again, 2,000 milliamp or more. Okay, more is better, less is no good. Okay, and the reason you want the, the, the 2,000 milliamp is that accordion draws 1,800 milliamps. Okay, if you try to run it on a 1,200 milliamp battery, uh, guess what? It's not going to work, and it will do strange things. Um, it may not turn on. If it turns on, it may turn off. If it turns on, weird things will happen. When I say weird things, uh, you'll press a button, and you're expecting it to do something, and, and it doesn't do it. Or you're expecting a certain sound, and and it's not coming out. It's not getting the power that it needs. So batteries are important. And if they start to wear out, don't go cheap on the batteries. I'm not talking go buy them where you're paying triple the price for the same thing. What I'm saying is be smart about it. Use some common sense and get decent batteries. All right, that being said, here are some examples, okay? Uh, the example that I'm, that I'm showing up here now is an example of a good battery to buy. And, and I am in no way recommending this brand over another brand. And I am not being sponsored by batteries at all. Okay. These just happen to be pictures that I grabbed um, quickly off the internet where you could buy them. Okay. The battery that you're looking at there is a 2500 milliamp battery battery those are good thumbs up on those okay now what you're seeing is a pack of four there you need eight okay but it's 2500 milliamp perfect it's going to run the accordion without a problem and you will get your five hours of playing time okay this is an example of ones not to get look at the capacity Okay, these are nickel metal hydrides, so they're good. But if you look at the capacity, they're only 1,500 milliamp. They're not gonna, they're not gonna work well. You will not be happy. You are actually probably not gonna be happy with the accordion. Okay, and it's a great accordion. Just don't get this type of battery. Again, nothing with the company because I believe the one I just showed was of this company, which is good. But the milliamps are wrong. On this one, there's two things wrong with this type of battery. One, it's a nickel cadmium battery. You don't want those. You do not want those. And the second thing, the capacity. This, they're only 600 milliamp capacity. My guess is something like that will not even turn the accordion on. And I will tell you, when your batteries start to go, the time will shorten up. Instead of five hours, you might get three hours or two hours. Some strange things will start to happen because the batteries are going to wear out at different times. Okay, and so some strange things start to happen. As soon as that happens, you know, if you've had your batteries for two years or more and, and, and you've done a lot of recharging, try new batteries. And replace them all. Don't replace one or two or three or four. Replace all eight. 
best advice I can give you. Examples of no-no batteries. Okay, Duracell's a great battery, but if you get one of these, just take a look up there. It says it's 1.5 volts. You will fry your electronics because you're going to be running a 9-volt system with 12 volts. It's not going to work. Okay, my guess is you're going to burn out some of the electronics inside. Okay, and then it's going to cost you a fortune to get it fixed. Do not buy this type. Um, this type uh, is, I, I just happened to see this out on um, Amazon. There are eight batteries with a charger for 30 bucks. And these are 2800 milliamp. Um, I happen to be using these in, in mine right now. Uh, the charger is, is actually, it's ridiculously small. It plugs in with a USB, okay, and it will charge individual batteries. So I could put one battery in and charge it. I, I would never do that, but it, it, it's a little interesting. So for 30 bucks, I got the charger and eight batteries at 2,800 milliamps. Again, I'm not pushing any brand. This just happened to be what I saw when I was looking for new batteries um, for my FR1X. Anyway, that's Batteries 101. I'm probably longer than I should be, but anyway, remember, good batteries, you're not going to go wrong with that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Enjoy.